Hey y'all, I'm Hannah and you're watching Day by Day Vlogs. I have a channel here on YouTube called Simply Hal. Hal is my nickname. I live on a small farm and have been riding horses for about 12 years now. We currently have five horses. So I do a lot of farm and barn vlogs, feeding routines, ride with me's. I do a lot of horse care type videos and tips and tricks and things like that. I also hatch out baby chicks and ducklings, so I absolutely love making videos about them and the incubation process. We also have two potbelly pigs here on our farm. We have a lot of chickens, ducks, we have three rabbits, and we have dogs and cats of course along with the five horses I would absolutely love for y'all to come and check out my channel and don't forget to subscribe to day by day vlogs if you have not already and thank you so much to day by day vlogs for having me on your channel Good morning guys welcome to today's video today the camera looks crooked to me sorry um good morning guys welcome to today's video today i have sophia here doing homeschool sophia what are you doing it's my cabin push light remember yesterday when sophia had a uh, chocolate on her face in the morning at the barn it'd still be there <laughs> anyway welcome to today sophia is doing homeschool she is doing alphabetical order. People have been asking to share our, our homeschool day, and I do not know what to share, you guys. So basically, she's playing this game. She has to pick on the days we'll of the month. After D again. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. And there's a couple of J's there. There's a July and a June, so she needs to go into January. Yeah, January is first, but for some reason, the game is not working correctly. I think you can only play once or twice and then it stops working on you. Okay, I'll just quit. So she's been working on that. She's been doing every day. We do reading. We do, um, they do times tables. Even though Gabby knows her times tables, she still does them every single day because you forget. You forget over time. So I want them to always stay fresh. They do times table sheets. They um, do independent work. I'll show you what they do. This is basically our schedule. What did you just fix? What did you just fix? This is where so this is Gabby's classroom. I actually took a picture of it the other day and forgot to post it on Instagram. It's not like me taking candy shots of her and posting them on Instagram. What did you just fix? Okay, so you see this little task bar at the bottom? Yeah, little task My bar. My mouse slipped and it did something, so it went up to here. Oh, it went on the side? Yeah. And you figured it out how to fix it, it yourself? Out. Yes. Amazing. You go to task bar settings. And that is not your schoolroom over there, Missy. Get back to work. How many times a day do you guys think that I say get back to work? At the barn, at the arena barn, in the house, doing chores, like all the time. Um, basically, did you guys know that school is designed specifically to help people, students, recognize what they're interested in and what they love so that they can choose a course of education for their future. That's all that it is, is exposing kids to a lot of different things so that they can figure out what they wanna do and then to focus all their studies that way. So that's what we do. We are learning all the things, but we're trying to figure out what they really love in life so that they can do that. What do you really love in life, Gabby? Horses. Mm -hmm. Just horses or do you love other things? What are you interested in? She likes science fiction. She's really good at editing. I'm really good at computer stuff. She's good at figuring stuff out. Actually, she's really um, intellectually motivated. Like, she's really good at figuring things out, like her dad, and just doing, like, she can pretty much figure anything out on her own. What do you love in life, Sophie? Animals. Animals. What else? Couches. Couches. Oh, me too. Phones. Phones and food. Computers. Sister. Boat. Sophie is the most like me in that way. The really cool thing though is Maybe. that even without figuring out what you have an aptitude for by doing school and education, you can figure out what you're meant to do <laughs> on a spiritual way, in a spiritual way. All the things that you need to tell you what you're meant to do are already in you. There are already so many signs that you can figure out. I'm gonna tell you a quick story. When I was a little girl, 
I like under five, I remember all these adults would say, wow, she needs to work with children. Like she is gonna be such a good mom one day. She needs, she's gonna be a daycare worker. She's gonna, she's gonna work with kids. And I remember when I was a little girl and I would hear all, like so many people said it to my parents and I'd be like, oh, I love that. And then I got to be a teenager and all the hormones came in. And I was like, oh, how dare they say I'm only good enough to work with kids. Like, that's so rude. So I went to college and I did nothing, nothing with kids. And I liked my job and for about 10 years. And then I did it for another 10 years and did not love my job. And then when Sophie was a sick baby, it was the best excuse ever to get out of that job. And I did. And then my life has evolved from there. And uh, all along, looking back, I should have paid attention because I love kids. I love everything to do with kids. All I ever wanted was to be a mom. That's all I ever wanted. And yeah, Gabby hates children. Why do you hate children? They're annoying. They're annoying. Oh man, nobody knows more than me. <laughs> that the children are annoying. <laughs> but my point here is to follow your heart, you guys. If you don't know what you're meant to do with your life, somebody just asked me that on YouTube today. If you don't know where to start, start inside yourself. Start asking yourself the question, what do I do? What makes me feel alive when I do it? What gives me excitement? What, tell, just ask yourself, what are the things that you do that people say, wow, look how good you are at that. I tell people whenever I see that they're really good at something because it's a clue, it's a sign from God of where, in what direction your life is meant to go. Come on, Ruby. <laughs> I get it. She's dumb. Turns everything green. Yeah. Now all you see is green. <laughs> I could not figure out where you were coming with, with that. Oh look, it's Scott likes it. She's like, I'd be so hungry, I'll eat the snow. See some for the She's like, that is not doing. Oh. That is not doing it for me. You're gonna get your feet done today, Missy. Well, I'll eat it. Yeah, she went outside this morning and started eating snow. Yeah, she's a snow eater. Gracie followed me around this boat, like, in the morning. Is Gracie eating it? Mm, she's picky. Anyway, it's almost lunchtime, and the farrier comes today. And if you guys don't know me, then you might not know that I panic if our barn is not clean before the farrier comes, or the chiropractor, or anybody. And as a double whammy, Fiona's coming too. Yeah, double whammy. Okay, so you guys know what, what happens when Fiona's here at the barn. Yeah, if it's not perfect. She makes a video about it, if you guys didn't see yeah, that video. She makes a video about it, Yeah. we can't find our house. Yeah, she made a video on her channel, Stride to Harmony. Stride with the number two, Harmony. I, I feel like they took all her cell pets. No, so anyway, we're gonna get to work, feed the horses, groom the horses, and get everything done before the, um, before the chiropractor, no, before the farrier comes. Our horses are due for the chiropractor next week, but if I remember correctly, our chiropractor is on vacation. Yeah, that's what we do in Canada. People go south, not us, because though. Because it's too cold. Yeah, too cold. Guys. These gloves are super warm, get them. But sometimes my pinkies freeze. You look like a penguin. No, they're lobster claw. I don't know if it's doing me good having this here or doing me bad because every time I, every time I touch it, brings back all the sensations. It just hits you out of nowhere. But I don't want to hide her away. Anyway, so the girls are gonna clean stalls. I am going to make brain bags. Isn't that the funnest thing? Storms, chinos, thins. Would you believe that all of these bags 
are not even two weeks worth of food for our horses. I have to fill them all and it's not two weeks worth of food. Right, this is it. Five days. Five days of grain and two hours later of making grain. Fingertips frozen. I think I've discovered something. Do you guys remember when Sky first moved here and I was like, she's always at the gate. First went to the gate, she loves us so much. I don't think that's it. <laughs> you may be surprised by this, but I feel like the more times we give her treats, the more times she just hangs out at the gate waiting for them. I think that's what she does. Uh-oh. Hey, Sam. Can you hear me? Yeah. You're on candid camera. Yeah, I uh, answered you on my phone, my fancy, fancy phone that I love that this amazing man bought me for Christmas. My fancy watch. You should know me by now. I get my words mixed up. Yeah. Yeah, so do you though. So we're, you, we're all even. So what's up? Nothing. We're in the barn. We've been here for hours. We're trying to get it clean for the farrier. No, so what's gonna happen is that Fiona's gonna come with the farrier and they're gonna do our horse's feet. He's gonna, and then Fiona's gonna drive us to the other barn and then you'll just pick us up there after work. Good? Okay. okay. Pardon? Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Oh my gosh, I am freaking out. It says right here that my heart rate on my watch, I just happened to scroll through. It says, I can't get it to focus. It says my heart rate is 106. Oh, but that's my working heart rate, not my resting heart rate. My heart, my resting heart rate is like, 62. Willow. Some action in the whore in the mare field. And that mare's just <laughs> She's like, I'm coming over here because this is where they give out the treats. <laughs> She's such a funny horse. I hope we're not teaching you bad things. <laughs> Don't shake your head. Yes, that's not good. <laughs> we don't need you being a person to tell us that all the mistakes we're making. You tell them that we're doing good stuff. You tell them we're doing good stuff. She's like, Gracie, you get away. What I've noticed in the field, in the in the in the mare herd, is that um, there's no like love and affection like it was before. There's respect and that's it like i don't find that any of them are really connected i feel like willow is in her place now she's not the head and sky is not a bad leader she's not a mean leader she's a strong leader like where she she does push them like get out of my way but they listen to her and she doesn't ever take it up a step ever so that's good you gracie you're in the coveted spot you better run you better run better run it could get ugly She's got her ears pinned. She's telling you with her face, get out of here. You be nice, girl. You be nice to my Gracie. I'll bring you treats after, okay? After you get your feet done. If you be a good girl, look. Oh, goodness. Well, there we go. Watch your fingers. Let's see, they're smart. I don't think it's a good idea to feed them when the farrier is about to arrive. And there's Miss Skater Pants down there. Oh! Jeez, Louise. Watch yourself. Hey. Okay. Oh, this, this one's here. <laughs> oh, this one's here. Can't see what's happening. Okay, no more carrots. I They'll all be hyper. Point. Go put it away until after they get their feet done. We'll only have one bite. All right, let her have one more bite because we'd be a fair family. Hello. She does not deserve it now. Look how small that bite was. <laughs> It's always Gracie though. <laughs> yeah, I know she takes small bites. It's always Gracie that runs off. Uh-oh. <laughs> Be nice. So, Chino had his feet done. Look at his lip. Oh, look at your lip. 
He does. He likes certain things. His bottom lip. Aww. He likes the dirt getting off. So Chino's done. Finn's lip. done. And Finn was great for the farrier today. Fiona held him. Made a difference. And now just Stormy's getting done. Gabby's gonna ride. So there's a new, another new horse at the barn. They're filling up in new horses. This is him. Woo! He's a 16 hand thoroughbred. Chestnut gelding. He's cute. But anyway, this guy is not going to ride. Gabby was going to ride him in lessons today, but he'd be feeling a little sore. All the work he's been doing. So our chiropractor is away and on vacation, and we're going to wait for her to come back. And I like that though. Like, I feel like he's new and he's skinny. I do not like riding skinny horses. It just makes me feel nervous. So he's going to sit in the field and eat lots. But we're going to bring him in and play with him, bond with him. That's my favorite time to bond. Right? You ready to bond? He's like, I'll bond with this other red-headed horse over here. <laughs> Can I take your stirrups away and make you do that? Her stirrups aren't even. It's just the seat's higher for some reason. Okay. Go up. I think she might be Hands out. Yes. Up. Three times. One, two, three. Those muscles. Um, Put your feet back in. Like I have no stirrups? Correct. So Sophie and Gabby both pushed too far down in their stirrups. Their heels. So their heels. Because he's faster. Uh, but you're going to get balanced and he'll slow down. Okay, don't be afraid. Half halt release. Half halt release. Do that again? She says she trusts Finn so much now. <laughs> 